All right, today we're gonna try to make sausage. I managed to find some casings at a local meat market. Um, it comes in a bag like this. The guy said it makes about 40 pounds. It's an eight ounce bag. They come on a ring like this. Um, but it was pretty much a jumbled mess, so I had to untie them and get the knots out. They do come frozen, so you have to thaw it out a little bit. He said that all I have to do is partially thaw just enough to get it out, and then I can refreeze or refrigerate it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, they're covered in, like, a salt mixture. Uh, so if you have any tiny cuts, keep that in mind because it will burn. I found that out the hard way. Uh, this is what they look like out. I have rinsed these and set them on a towel to dry until I'm ready to use them as per the directions. So let's get on with the meat. All right, so like anything, when I meal prep and menu plan, I will have everything right in front of me. I do use my planner. I don't know why it's not focusing, I'm sorry. Um. I have a sticky note telling me what I need to prep. I've actually already done this. Um, I don't have a video because I was having technical difficulties. So this is just extra, but I'm, I have three pounds of pork and three pounds of beef. I'm going to grind all of it, and I'm going to make half of the pork breakfast sausage and half of it Italian sausage, and then the beef I'm going to do probably two pounds of... Um, taco meat and then one pound of just regular ground so in the breakfast sausage I have sea salt nutmeg ground sage black pepper fennel seeds cayenne pepper paprika crushed red pepper majorum and thyme I will try to link the recipe below I got it off of a website that I found through Pinterest. I have not tasted it yet though, so I cannot guarantee how good it is. <laughs> I tried one previously and it just wasn't seasoned enough, so we didn't really like it. So we're going to try a new one today and see how it goes. Okay, and now for the Italian sausage, I have fennel seed, oregano, crushed pepper, garlic, thyme, onion powder, sea salt, paprika, black pepper, basil, parsley, and it also calls for brown sugar. I forgot that one. That one's also in the breakfast sausage and red wine vinegar, which I will put in after um, I mix up the spices because I don't want any clumpy spices. I take them and I mix them up in a mason jar or bowl or whatever I have on hand just so that it's easier I did half the recipe um, that I will link below because I'm only doing like one and a half pounds or thereabouts so let's get started so we're gonna start with the pork so I got it like pre-sliced because it was already that way and I didn't feel like making a little bit of the back <laughs> plus it makes it easier on me I don't have but I'm going to start by cubing it into roughly one inch cubes so that it can easily go through the grinder. Pork is chopped. We will now grab our scale. This is a really cheap one that I got from Walmart a few years ago. Um, I don't remember the brand. I know it was super cheap. It was like the cheapest one they had. It's not digital, so there's 
that. What is that for? Okay. All right, there was like a water spot or something. Okay. So I'm going to measure out one and a half pounds after I zero out my scale. Maybe. One of these days I'll invest in a digital. But this one works pretty good for now, so it is what it is. Okay. Almost. Okay. We're at about a pound and a half, which means that other side should be about a pound and a half as well. I'm going to measure that up right now just so I don't have to worry about it. I did forget to mention, um, although it's kind of obvious, you want to start with a clean surface. Um, you don't want a lot of stuff in your way. Um, I like to have everything laid out so that it's super easy to get to. You want a really sharp knife, but you also want to use knife safety cut away from you, you know, all that stuff. Common sense. Okay, so now we're going to bust out the grinder. Mine is called a Tupperware Fusion Master Mincer. Um, I used to be a Tupperware consultant. I did not sell well <laughs> because I never really put forth the effort. It didn't really care too much. I really just did it for the discount. Um, I don't know if they sell it anymore. Um, in fact, they only sold it for a brief time when I was a consultant. I just happened to get one because I was a consultant. It was actually like a hostess reward or something. So, I guess, I, I don't really know if it's sold anymore. You could always contact your local Tupperware consultant. They have a website where you can find them easily. Um, but yeah, mine is a hand crank. Every single piece of it comes off, which I love because it's super easy to clean. It is dishwasher safe. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's a hand crank, and that can be very, 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 very difficult. I'm missing a piece. It would help to have the last piece. My dishwasher kind of sucks. Give me work today. dishwasher safe if you have a dishwasher that is good enough to clean it. Clearly mine is not. So I had to quickly wash that. Okay. Finish that up. Alright, so I think we are going to start with we'll do the breakfast sausage first I guess. to add the seasoning and I usually just mix with my hands. It's quick and easy. <coughs> <coughs> and I inhaled some of the seasoning. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> Smells good. Hopefully it's flavorful enough. Okay, now you get to see me sweat.
final try. I've gotten a few. I've torn a lot of casings. Um, but, you know, that's a learning experience, right? Here we go. Maybe I should have watched a video of this. I don't know, baby. All right, so now that I figured out what to do, I'm gonna finish this up. So, case in point, put the casing all the way on the funnel instead of trying to push it through because you will tear your casing. I really should have looked up some tutorials before I tried this, but it's a learning experience. Hmm, that's fun, you got to watch me look dumb. <laughs> so. just for good measure. digital camera because my little other camera died. So, great. So you just want to go slow, try to get it even, watch for any air bubbles. Now that I know what I'm doing, it's actually not too bad. I just have to work on getting it even and looking nice. Oh. smaller than I thought it was going to be. Like, I could probably try to make them thicker, but that's okay. All right, just so that you guys can see what I've been up to for the past few days. Like I said, I lost a lot of video somehow. I'm not really sure what happened. Technical difficulties. But this is my meal prep. Uh, I have beef strips that will be used for either stir fry or fajitas. I chopped those up from a roast. I ground this meat. It's just ground beef. I did not put the taco seasoning in that one. I still have about three pounds in the fridge to do that with. Um, this is beef for chili. Again, it's just ground beef that I ground. 
I have a beef stew mix. I cubed the beef and then I added potatoes, carrots, celery, and a whole bunch of seasonings. Basically my entire spice cabinet. You just saw me do the sausage. That was an interesting, fun experience. Then I have three pounds of breakfast sausage, three regular pounds of Italian sausage, not in casings. I have 10 pork chops, two pounds of cubed pork, some shredded mozzarella, and some shredded Colby Jack. So that's about it. I do still have to make some spaghetti sauce and smoothie packs, but that's for another day. I hope you enjoy. All right, so that was my meal prep, sausage making and meat grinding and stuff. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I apologize in advance for the loss of detailed video. I also apologize for the sound quality. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties that I have to work through. Um, if you would like a more detailed video like of something during that process, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to get that done. Until next time, bye guys!